I farmed this artifact domain 400 times and spent 15,900 resin. Wondering what I got? Well then watch the video. Hey guys, it's Chino. So back in March, when I first saw the leaks about the new Hydro and HP artifact domain, I decided that I was going to farm it religiously until Fontaine's release. Why? Well, because I thought Furina would use it. There's still hope. Anyways, before the Golden Troop incident, I farmed this domain a whopping 400 times, 395 condensed resin and 520 resin runs. If anybody says this video is clickbait because I did 5 single runs, I swear to god I will unleash my wrath upon you. You can fault me for the thumbnail all you want, that shit was intentional, but my data? My months of hard work? There is no forgiveness if you cross that line, buddy. Anyways, I recorded all of the data in a big spreadsheet. Initially, I was going to do a video covering pie charts of all the data for like, individual pieces and compare and contrast all the numbers. However, when I sat down to go and actually get started on this, the sheer volume of data that I would have to input got the better of me, and I'm alternating to an albeit more lazy video, but also a far less boring video. Probably. Instead of going over all of these stats individually, I'm going to highlight the most interesting data and I will leave a link in the description to the spreadsheet for anybody that actually wants to look at the whole thing. There, best of both worlds. But with that being said, let's hop into it. So I think the best way to start this off is to show what I did end up getting and keeping from this domain. Both my Nilu and Tartaglia use 4 pieces from this domain, with Nilu running 2 piece for Rukasha, a 2 piece Nymph Stream, and Tartaglia with 4 piece Nymph Stream. My Nilu's build is 75-255 with 54k HP, 116 recharge, and 93 EM. She is C6R5 and triple crowned, though that doesn't have anything to do with the artifact domain. I'm just flexing. Here are the pieces I'm running on her. Her build is 225 crit value and she ranks top 3% for Bloom, which is great, but I don't play her in Bloom at all. I'm not sure why Akasha doesn't have a vape Nili leaderboard, but I digress. My Tartaglia is actually ranked higher between the two builds, rocking an 85-188 ratio with 1.9k attack, 77em, and 111% recharge. His recharge is low, I know, but it's fine, we work with it. He is C1R1 and talents are 8 10, 10. Here are the pieces I'm running on him. His build is 233 crit value and it ranks 20th in the world for 110% recharged Tartaglias at the time of recording this video. He's also top 1% in most other leaderboards as well if that category is too specific for you. So TLDR, this domain actually gave me some pretty nice artifacts at the cost of nearly 16,000 resin. It also gave me a lot of shit artifacts, so let's take a look at some of the data. Let's start with crit. Let's be real, it's the most sought after stat. So how often did I get crit on my pieces? Well, out of 824 artifacts, 222 had crit rate, while 189 had crit damage. There is some overlap on this as well with double crit pieces, which I did record as well. Out of 824 total farmed artifacts, 47 were double crit 3 line pieces, and 10 were double crit 4 line pieces. That means 5.7% of my artifacts were double crit 3 line pieces, and only 1.2% of my artifacts were double crit 4 line pieces. That's a 1 in 83 chance to get a double crit 4 line piece. That's insane! Especially because it's almost surely going to be a defense sans. Speaking of 4 line pieces, of 824 total farmed artifacts, 667 were a 3 line start, and 157 were a 4 line start. That means only 19% of my artifacts started with 4 substats. Which is also kind of insane, but this statistic I'm a little more okay with. I'm still mad about the crit though. Alright, next section. Goblets. I don't know about you guys, but I never get the elemental goblet I want on set. It's once in a blue moon. Well, drop rates actually have a pretty big role to play in that. And before I forget, Hoyo actually has the rates available for goblet main stats. HP and attack percent have a 19.25% chance of being the main stat, with defense percent being a 19% chance. All elemental types and physical have a 5% chance, with elemental mastery being a 2.5% chance. Let's see how this lines up with my data. Honestly, yeah, this is pretty accurate. That's saying a lot too, considering the sample size is fairly small, all things considered. Oh, by the way, before I hear anyone say, Oh, Chino, I thought you said you never get the element you want on set. How come you got so many hydro goblets? Bro! 
they were all shit. That's the worst part with farming goblets. When you get a goblet, it's a 95% chance of being a main stat that you don't want. And when you finally get the one you do want, the substats are terrible. But then the next run you'll get a physical or geo cup that's four line double crit out of spite. Every time, without fail. Anyways, rant over. Next section. Circlet. I fucking hate circlets. Instead of having the typical 50% chance of hitting the stat you want with a double crit piece, your odds get cut in half because crit is more than likely the main stat of your piece. Happy hunting, buddy! Enjoy your 0.09% chance of hitting that one crit line five times in a row. <clears throat> Anyways, rent over. Next section. Nah, <laughs> I'm just playing. So circlets in this domain were actually pretty skewed with the data. While Hoyo gives a 22% chance to hit HP, defense, or attack percent, they offer a 10% chance at crit rate, crit damage, and healing bonus, with a 4% chance at elemental mastery. I'm not sure why healing bonus is 2.5 times more likely than elemental mastery, but whatever. I'm happy that crit at least has decent odds on this one. Sorry to anyone that farmed viridescent before strongbox was a thing, though. Anyways, looking at my data, everything was actually pretty accurate. Defense and attack were both hit 30 times exactly, both crit types were within one of each other, and EM was abysmally low, as it should be. HP, however, was hit 31 times on just one of the sets. Already more than what defense percent and attack percent were combined for both sets. HP percent was hit a whopping 46 times, and that's the problem with having a small sample size. I use the term small lightly here, by the way. I mean, I spent months farming this domain and logging this data. I spent hours on this spreadsheet. I did this for you guys. Subscribe! What are you waiting for? <clears throat> Anyways, yeah. My circlets really loved HP. Oh, by the way, that joke I made earlier about having a 0.09% chance of hitting crit on your circlet five times in a row? Good luck even trying that in the first place. That scenario requires a four-line circlet with crit main stat and substat. Out of 165 circlets that I farmed, only one of them met this condition. That's a 0.6% chance to even try to create a scenario where you can execute a 0.09% chance. That's a 0.00054% chance of happening. This is why I hate circlets. Anyways, let's talk about timepieces, or sands. I actually don't dislike sands as much as most people do. I feel like often I see other content creators or players complaining about these pieces, but for me, I've never really had much of a problem with them. Certainly not as much as goblet or circlets. Unless we're talking about energy recharge sands and emblem, that's a whole different animal. Speaking of energy recharge, there's a 10% chance of hitting that in elemental mastery as the main stat of your sands, with a 26.6% chance of hitting HP, defense, or attack. Here's the data I gathered while farming sands. This is another case of small sample size affecting the result. However, I do think that these are fairly close given the amount of data collected. I would go in depth on things such as substat distribution now, but honestly, with substat distribution, I can't show all of the pieces comparatively as flowers cannot have flat HP and feathers can't have flat attack, thus creating a skew in the data towards flat defense. Alternatively, I could analyze every type of piece individually for these stats, but that would take much too long and quite frankly, would not be that interesting. If you're curious about this data, you are more than welcome to check out the spreadsheet I've posted in the description. It has all of my recorded data. I will instead end the video off with some fun statistics regarding everything I've collected. Also, just a quick heads up, if you do head into the spreadsheet I've made and notice errors, this is just due to me collecting information through very traditional means. I am human, and over the course of 4-5 to five months of data collection, I am bound to make mistakes. Knowing this, if you still want to point out errors in my spreadsheet, I'm just going to assume that you look like this IRL. Anyways, enough jokes, let's get into the fun stats. Of all 824 pieces I collected, the distribution of the 5 artifact types was almost completely even. On paper, they should all be 20%. Here's a pie chart for these pieces. All things considered, this is pretty damn accurate. Along with this, exactly 400 were Vorakasha and 424 were Nims, which is also relatively close. Here's an even more fun stat for you. I'm going back to that fucking circlet point again. You are more likely to be struck by lightning than you are to get a 4 line crit circlet with a crit substat and hit crit every single time. Granted this is going based off my own data and findings, but it's even still, it's crazy to think about. The next time you see someone with a 20 crit rate or 40 crit damage circlet with a crit main stat, just remember that Hoyo does have favorites, and you're not one of them. To wrap this up, here's the most interesting percentage of all. There is only an 8% chance of you making it to this point in the video, and it's likely that you're not subscribed, as 99.7% of people that watch this channel aren't. This data definitely isn't skewed by one video, by the way. 
So what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button for me. What? You don't want to? Okay. Uh, how about pressing this one instead? Whatever is good for you.